Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Thank you so much for watching. So I think I'm here with a 34, a week 34 um, update for, that was a horrible intro. I think I'm here for a week 34 post-op VSG surgery update. I had surgery on October 12th, 2015 in Lowell Mass at Lowell General Hospital with Dr. Rebecca Shore. My starting weight in July of last year was 335. My weight on the date of surgery was 300.8. My weight last time I saw you guys was 207 pounds. Are you ready for my weight from today? Actually, it was from Monday. Today's Wednesday. Are you ready? Uh, 213 pounds. Like, literally. Literally, I'm not even joking, you guys. Um, and then I weighed in uh, yesterday and I was at 216. So I know that this is kind of something that happens where I lose a, like a good chunk of weight and then I gain some back. Um, it's still freaking frustrating. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, it's really frustrating, actually. I'm not even going to bullshit. Like, it's really frustrating. I will say, I would. I feel like I say this as almost an excuse every time, but I am really bloated, like super gassy. I've been taking fiber gummies because some of you guys have recommended that and holy shit, holy shit, okay? Like they actually work. The first day that I took them, I ran to the bathroom and every single day since I've had to go to the bathroom like a lot, um, TMI. But I've, it's also, I'm not sure if it's that, but I've also been getting really like gassy and bloated and like gassy um i do get this is super tmi hi welcome to my channel um super bloated and like really gassy when it's around um the the, the period time <laughs> i don't know how to say it um so i don't know if it's that or if it's the fiber gummies but i mean i know that i've been bloated but um on a more serious note one thing that i have found myself really honestly struggling with is my portion size to the point where i'm a little bit nervous that i've kind of done irreparable damage to my sleeve um and here's why so i feel like i just eat too much obviously my portion sizes are out of control and post-op nope pre-op um you know before surgery and everything i would literally every single day eat until i was stuffed until i had no more room there was no capacity inside of my stomach i wanted to vomit and i did that every single time i ate and i don't know why um you know i've heard that you know when you are super full it like triggered this hormone to comfort you or whatever something like that and i don't know if that's kind of where i'm at i don't know if it's i'm just reverting back to old habits and it's not even like i'm eating horrible foods um which we'll get into another piece of that in a minute but um it's just the quantity like tonight i was meal prepping for tomorrow and the day after just a scrambled egg a link of sausage and then a slice of bacon and like i see these people on on instagram and they're eating like three bites of something and they're like oh my god i'm stuffed and i'm like holy shit i can eat a whole fucking bowl of food and that's probably not great so um but anyways i was meal prepping these two bowls and then i had a piece of bacon because i cooked the whole thing because my kids and my husband oh, i always do that my boyfriend will eat it like right away um and then i had a piece of bacon and then i had some more bacon and i picked i nibbled at some of the eggs which were phenomenal i did a great job if i do say so myself but then i literally had like three or four slices of bacon i feel like that's a lot for somebody who's had who has like hardly any stomach i feel like i eat too much and again i'm eating to the point not where i'm stopped like in the beginning of this process i i heard a lot of people who a weren't getting hungry they weren't feeling hunger pains and b who couldn't tell if they were hungry like their nose ran or they sneezed and that's what signified their their fullness i have no idea the correlation between that and being full but it works for some people for me i've always felt hunger from day one and i feel full so i just keep eating until i feel that fullness again and i was doing really good with not having to get to that point where I was, you know, stuffed, but lately I've just really noticed that I'm kind of getting back there and, um, I'm not happy about it. I'm not proud of it, but it's just, it is what it is. And honestly, when I first went and had surgery, like you hear how much work it is. The sleeve is a tool. Absolutely. hundred percent. It's a tool. It's not going to do the job for you. But in my mind, pre-op, I was kind of like, hi, I can't shove my face with stuff, my face with food. I'm not going to be eating the high calorie food, the fast food, the junk food, the sweets, the cakes, the candies that I was eating before. Obviously I'm going to lose weight. It's like a no brainer, right? Like who the hell, obviously I'm going to lose weight. Um, and I do lose weight, but it's so much work that I have to put into it. And I didn't really understand that. I don't know why. Um, but I mean, even just in 
the exercise and the way that I've changed my life exercise wise I mean I've gone to the gym two out of the last three days this week I've also walked three days on my lunch break every single day at work I'm walking a mile and a half in addition to going to the gym at night so I mean I that never was ever in like rotation at before surgery in rotation like in real life for me that was never I never had an exercise or tried to be active or tried to get movement uh, of my body so that is something that I've had to work on and consciously make an effort on and so now I'm trying to like it's, I'm struggling because it's like I'm literally eating like four slices of bacon some eggs oh did you see that some eggs er, look at that oh, girl but look at that can you see that coming in Ooh. But then it's like hi guys anyways that's another video altogether <laughs> um but i feel like i'm not eating i am not eating as much and i'm not eating as horribly but i'm still gaining like 18 pounds a week so i don't really know i don't know um but it just goes to show you it's not gonna be all fucking unicorns and rainbows it's work it's hard work it's a struggle i was discouraged and i'll put a picture in so i was really discouraged today just because of everything and i made i put on on the gram as the children call it these days uh, a side by side of me in a, in a bathing suit two years ago when i was at the beach on vacation with my family and a bathing suit that i bought at walmart this year and whenever i am feeling discouraged or down or bummed out <laughs> Um, I tend to do side by sides and that's what I said on Instagram I just I need that motivation I need that pick me up I need to remind myself how much work I've actually put in thus far and how much of a change has really come about so I'll insert that video that picture here because I'm actually really proud of it I when I put that together I was like holy shit like holy crap a I can't believe that was me on whatever the bigger side and B I didn't realize how much thinner I looked compared to my old self. Like, it's just crazy. So, here you go. And if you're on my Instagram, I'm sorry if you're if you're seeing that twice. But, like, I'm really proud of that. I think that's really encouraging for me to see. And it really helped lift my spirits and not be so bummed out. And then I went and I drank 100 ounces of water today. That was my other great... Um, post on the gram was it's thirsty thursday so i wanted to challenge myself and get 100 ounces of water because i've been drinking like 48 ounces of water at work and then i'll have like a 16 ounce bottle but i i feel like i need to be getting more water in at work so i had four of those 24 ounce containers at work and then i had a 16 ounce bottle of water here and it's 8 30 and i'm probably gonna still have some more water because i'm like dry mouth <laughs> um so yeah i mean i have to really remind myself of how far that i've come because it is hard when you're not seeing the progress like you're actually not seeing it yourself because you're seeing yourself every day on the daily so um i would encourage you guys to do that put together side by sides i think they're incredible they're so fascinating if you're pre-op take pictures i tried to do that i thought i did it sufficiently uh, i realized i only took like pictures of me and my bra and i don't want to like post that all over the place for before and afters but take pictures um please do it um and then the other thing food wise that i wanted to talk about was i feel like i've become really reliant on protein bars and protein shakes as of lately um and the reason for that is really because i'm a lazy motherfucker just like point blank that's where it is that's who i am that is me as a person as a woman i'm lazy um so i don't i'm not a good cook i don't prepare meals i don't meal prep as i should i don't you know i'm just not good at it right so i'm all about convenience so i'll grab a protein bar two protein bars and go to work i'll have a protein shake and i'll go to work and i really need to kind of refocus myself on what I'm putting into my body, yeah, it's great. I'm putting protein in, I'm getting the protein, but it's still like processed foods. It's still from a package, it's still from, you know, a box, a container, whatever. And I really need to be committing myself to actually spending time on what I'm putting in my body. And that is not something that I've been doing. And it's something that I really do need to get back into or need to get into because I, you know, I'm just not great at it. So, um, yeah, if you guys have any favorite recipes, feel free to hook your sister up um feel free to let me know put them down below whatever but i just i have a really hard time with that i just like i said i'm lazy and convenience 100 percent for me is where i'm at um and i need to change that so that's another thing that i've been kind of struggling with this week so i think that's about it for my update fiber gummies do it do it do it if you haven't already um 
like a thousand pound gain that's right that's right on track where i'm supposed to be in life um but yeah no i think that's about it you guys and i also wanted to say thank you so much this week especially i've gotten some incredible heartfelt messages from um you guys you amazing people out there <laughs> um i've really slacked on being up to date on videos and comments and everything it's been so crazy in my life right now i just can't even tell you but um, for those of you who have left, uh, not left me messages, but have been chatting with me and sending me messages, I, I don't think you guys understand how much it really means to me that you're taking time out of your busy schedules and your everyday life and your time with your family to comment to me. Um, and this channel initially, I, I've said it before, I'm a selfish person and I did it for me so that I could see my progress and I could go back and see where I was and where I don't ever want to be again and how I felt and how good I feel now and going forward. Um, so I really did put this channel together for me, but to see that it's really helped some of you guys in your journeys and in your process and I see just the amazing friendships that I've made out of it. Um, it's really like mind blowing. It's really incredible. And I'm so thankful that again, you guys take the time out of your day, your schedule, whatever's going on in your life to let me know how my videos have helped you or, you know, just to say hi or just to build a friendship. Like I really and truly appreciate every single one of you. And I love every single one of you more than you will know literally more than you all know um so thank you again honestly i'm so grateful for you i like to dream of the day where we can all get together and hang out do you guys ever do that like i'm literally like oh i want to hang out with my girlfriends and my dude friends and i don't know party have a big orgy no i'm totally totally kidding on that totally kidding um but have like a big party like maybe one day i'll one day one year i'll go to oh wsf WLSFA I don't know but I really dream I honestly do daydream of the day that I can hang out with all y'all and I know there's something going on in Philly and I'm just like dying because I don't think I can go don't kill me I don't think I go and I'm like dying over it I'm like trying to figure things out to the, like the last second but I don't know you guys so anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching um, and commenting and subscribing and everything that all y'all do to make my life a better life to live. Um, but seriously, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for watching. I love you. And I hope you have a great night or day whenever you're watching this. And I will see you later. Bye. It's the jiggle. Oh.